back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to try out this new paper. And this is 100% cotton paper and it's cold press. But before that, I'm just going to quickly show you my setup. Um, so this is my canvas lamp. I'm going to use this to film. This is like a tripod with like a lamp uh, underneath. So you just uh, put your phone here in the clamp. Okay, so it's it's a little bit pricey, but for me, it's super useful if you film a lot of videos. So if you're interested to get one too, I'm going to put the link below. Okay, so I got this paper um, back in Singapore during one of my uh, visits there. So it comes in this resealable uh, package. Okay, so now let's just get one. Okay, let's try to just check it up close so you can definitely see that there is some texture which is a characteristic of a cold press paper it's not too rough um, but let's try it out I'm gonna use my reference book this is also one of my favorites it's the flower color guide I'm gonna put the Amazon link below but it's one of the best uh, reference books for me if you love painting flowers. Alright, so I'm going to use this photo as a reference, but I think I'm going to change the color. I'm going to use Crimson Lake. And I just wanted to do something really, like, really loose. And we're going to also use more water just so we can test this paper out. Okay, let's grab a little bit of this permanent yellow deep just for the center I want this to be like a quick and loose um, intuitive painting okay and rinse my brush I'm going to add some more water. You can see that the paper is not, I think it's not really absorbing the paint well compared to my other 100% um, other cotton paper. You can see that there are like puddles. Um, I'm not sure how it will dry up, but uh, let's see. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of brown to my red to create kind of a darker color. Let's grab Hooker's Green with Sepia. It's a nice dark and like rich color. So the, the paper feels a bit smoother compared to my Bao Hong paper. But one of the advantages of painting on smoother paper is that it's also easier for your brush to glide onto the paper because there is less resistance. So I'm actually intentionally adding more water just so we can see how this paper performs. Okay, let's put one flower here. We're just going to kind of dance with our brush and paint these um, tiny strokes that will form into petals later on. Let's just rinse our brush.
I'm gonna grab sap green. And I feel like um, this is a paper that I would use more like for practice just because of how it performs and I think I can't remember the price but I do remember that it was quite affordable so I guess this is nice for practice but to be honest if I compare this with the Baohong Academy which is a student grade paper of, of Baohong brand I would uh, I probably would prefer painting on Baohong more compared to this paper okay let's add one more like maybe a small bud right there Okay, so again, sorry for the background noise. Okay, so I'm currently liking this style of leaving some white spaces. I think it looks pretty. Um, okay, then we're gonna add just some more of that green. You can see that my palette is so messy, I haven't really cleaned it. But sometimes you get some nice mixes out of that. So because I have a small smudge right here, maybe we can add a tiny bud. Okay, let's just add some water. Alright, so this is almost dry. Um, another way to, I guess, one way to cover up some of these patches is to add a second layer. So you can just kind of try to separate the petals. can also add just some strokes right here just to add some detail okay I think we're almost done and we can add some small like veins right here it does feel heavy sometimes when you add a second layer but it's just one of the ways to add um, just to add or to cover up mistakes all right so I think we're done um, for my uh, review here I feel like it's actually a, a good or like a decent paper for 100% cotton paper but I guess if I were to try on this paper again I would lessen the amount of water because I feel like it doesn't really um, doesn't absorb the paint well for me so I guess if you're painting loose flowers um, you might want to keep an eye on the amount of water in your brush. Um, unfortunately for landscapes, I haven't really tried this paper for that. But um, 
maybe it's the same like you have to control the water as well and as for like the colors well it the colors still look vibrant painting on this paper because in some uh, cases or in some cheaper papers the colors won't show up well but with this one i think it performed okay all right so if this paper is within your budget and if it's um it's available in your art store i think it's worth a try but of course don't expect it to be in to, to don't expect it to perform in the same way as arches or bao hong all right so that's it for my mini review of this paper i hope that you enjoyed this video please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more art videos bye mm -hmm.